going to talk about lean maternity, how to optimize your work to become more profitable. So what does that mean for us? And you're going to have another click. In the regular original economic theory, the way profits work is that you have the cost of your production, you add your profit margin to it, and that equals your price. So we're able to build that from the ground up. I'm guessing if you guys could do that, you probably wouldn't even be here today, right? <laughs> if we could just add on the profit margin that we need and tell our dairy processors how much they should be paying us. That would be a beautiful world. Unfortunately, that is not the world we live in. Our situation is quite the opposite. Our profit is what we get from the processor minus our costs. And that's a really important distinction because here I can decide what I'm going to get paid. Whereas here I get to do an awfully good job keeping my costs low in order to be profitable. The primary reason for high cost <coughs> is our waste. So eliminating waste is the primary means of maximizing our profits. And the way we look at the lean on a farm, and I'm just going to read this, is a farm-wide approach to identifying and eliminating waste, also called non-value-added activities, through continuous improvement, meaning we're constantly trying to get better, in the pursuit of perfection, if we don't have any waste, there's nothing else to eliminate, we have achieved perfection, right? By flowing the care at the knees of the animal. This is a really important line. What that means is that we don't do anything unless the animal actually demands it. Once again, asking for the elimination of activities that are not important or directly related to the care that we provide to the animal with the involvement of everyone. So I can't do this in a vacuum. I have to have my coworkers, my bosses, my subordinates, everybody be involved and understand what it is that we're trying to do and why we're doing it.